Welcome to the Teacher's Lounge, a podcast dedicated to providing real-life resources for early education professionals. The Teacher's Lounge is hosted by Noel Dentino and Jessica Day. Together, they bring almost 50 years of combined experience in and out of the early education classroom, offering a wealth of knowledge and practical insights that you need now if you're in childcare. Whether you're a new assistant or making the leap from lead teacher to director, we have you covered. Join us as we delve into the unique challenges and opportunities of each role, sharing our experiences and expertise with practical tools to help you succeed. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, and let's jump into the lounge. Welcome to another episode of the Teacher's Lounge the podcast designed especially for dedicated early childhood education teachers like you. I'm your host, Jessica Day, and I'm thrilled to be your companion on this exciting journey of learning and growth. In this episode, we're diving deep into the world of classroom management, a topic that lies at the heart of every successful educator's practice. But we're not here to just talk about the basics. We're here to explore a powerful tool that can truly transform your teaching experience, self-reflection. As ECE teachers, we know that every day in the classroom is an adventure filled with tiny triumphs and unique challenges. It's a world of boundless curiosity, infectious laughter, and yes, even occasional chaos. But within this dynamic environment, there's a secret weapon a tool that can help us not only survive, but thrive. And that tool is reflection. In this episode, we'll walk you through practical steps to seamlessly integrate self-reflection into your classroom management strategy. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your ECE journey, there's something here for everyone. So. Go grab your favorite beverage, find a cozy corner, and join us as we explore how self-reflection can make you not only a more effective teacher, but also a more fulfilled one. Manning a classroom full of energetic and curious young learners can be both rewarding and challenging. However, with the power of self-reflection, you can transform your teaching environment into a nurturing, engaging, and harmonious space. In the initial stages of classroom management, it's imperative to lay the foundation for a successful learning environment. Establishing clear classroom expectations, maintaining consistent communication, developing a structured routine, and nurturing a positive classroom culture create the essential framework for effective teaching. However, there's another step, self-reflection which serves as a linchpin that ties these foundational elements together. Through self-reflection, teachers gain valuable insights into the effectiveness of their classroom management strategies. It's the tool that allows educators to fine-tune their practices, ensuring that expectations are met, communication is enhanced, routines are optimized, and a positive culture is sustained. In essence, self-reflection transforms a teacher's classroom management from a statistic, delete, 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 from a static process into a dynamic and ever-improving journey, benefiting both the teacher and the young learners they guide. Self-reflection stands as the cornerstone of your journey towards becoming an even more effective and fulfilled early childhood education teacher. It's your guiding compass in the realm of professional growth. In this next section, let's dive into the practical aspects of self-reflection and how it can continually enhance your role. Here are some actionable steps to seamlessly wave self delete 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 delete. Here are some actionable steps to seamlessly weave self-reflection into your teaching practice. First, allocate dedicated time for reflection. Set aside specific moments each week or month for self-reflection, treating them as non-negotiable appointments with yourself and your teaching journey. 
It would be helpful if you use the classroom management calendar that you can find in our on-demand portal at the teacher's lounge, print that page out and add your delete, 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 and add this appointment with yourself into each week, bi-weekly, or month. Craft a tranquil and inviting space for reflection. Find a peaceful nook, eliminate distractions, and equip yourself with the self-reflection form that you can access through the Teacher's Lounge portal to capture your thoughts. Next, chronicle your experiences. Using the self-reflection form, ask yourself the provided questions to assess what your experience in your classroom and your ter- delete, 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 and your teaching journey have been late. Delete, 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 delete. Chronicle your experiences. Using the self-reflection form, ask yourself the provided questions to assess what your experience in your classroom and teaching journey has been like lately. Using the self-reflection form or even your own classroom ref- Delete, delete, delete. Using the self-reflection form or even your own classroom reflection form, chronicle instances of success, breakthroughs, or when your classroom management strategies flourished. Equally, chronicle moments when you have navigated difficulties or faced uncertainty. Delete, 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 delete. Seek collective feedback in various, delete, delete, delete. Seek collective feedback in varied insights. Meet with your team teacher during the scheduled class or meeting time and engage with your colleagues to gain their valuable insights and feedback. They often bring fresh perspective you may not have considered as well as feedback regarding their own assessment of their experience. Conduct candid and constructive dialogues about your teaching methods and classroom management approaches. Setting well-defined growth goals. After reflecting on your experiences and receiving feedback, it's time to create goals that are clear, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-sensitive. These goals will guide your professional development. Collectively break down these objectives into smaller, achievable steps. This approach allows you to closely track your progress and celebrate your achievements as you move forward. Embrace adaptation and experimentation. Utilize your reflections to inform and adapt your classroom management strategies. Be open to experimenting with novel approaches. Preserve what proves effective, refine what requires enhancement, and discard methods that no longer serve your objectives. Explore professional development opportunities. Ponder attending workshops, seminars, and taking online courses through the Teacher's Lounge pertaining to classroom management and early edu- delete, 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 and early childhood education. These experiences can supply fresh insight and tools for your educational toolbox. Celebrate your growth. Don't overlook the importance of acknowledging and celebrating your professional milestones. Recognizing your progress and its positive impact on your students can be a powerful motivator. Maintain commitment to self-reflection. Remember that self-reflection is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. Dedicate time for reflection consistently. Adapt your strategies as circumstances evolve and perpetually seek ways to enhance your classroom management skills. Embracing self-reflection as a regular practice within your teaching journey not only enhances your role as an early childhood education teacher, but also significantly contributes delete, 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 but also significantly contributes to the positive development of your students. Each reflection represents a step forward on the path of continuous improvement and professional growth. This valuable practice seamlessly applies within the classroom context. It empowers educators to refine their teaching strategies by identifying what engages young learners effectively and assessing the classroom physical environment to align with the specific needs of young children. 
Self-reflection extends to tuning into students' individual needs and adapting approaches accordingly. Additionally, it fosters a positive and nurturing atmosphere by considering educators' emotional interactions with students. Beyond the classroom, self-reflection motivates teachers to seek continuous improvement in relevant training for ongoing professional growth. As EE delete, delete, delete. As ECE teachers engage in self-reflection and assess their teaching methods and classroom environments, they also need to be open to change. Educational landscapes, curricula, and student demographics evolve over time, and flexibility is key to navigating these shifts successfully. By constantly reassessing and adjusting their classroom management techniques, teachers can accommodate new challenges and seize opportunities for improvement. Being flexible means embracing innovative delete, 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 <clears throat> delete, delete, delete. Being flexible means embracing innovative approaches and staying open to feedback from students, colleagues, and parents. It involves a willingness to explore new teaching strategies, technologies, and educational trends that may enhance classroom management and better serve the needs of young learners. The synergy between self-reflection and flexibility creates a dynamic cycle of improvement in ECE teaching. Self-reflection helps educators identify areas that require adaptation, while flexibility enables them to implement these changes effectively. Together, these practices contribute to maintaining a dynamic and responsive learning environment that fosters growth and development in young children. The reflective process serves as a cornerstone of professional development for ECE teachers. It's a dynamic self-assessment tool that propels educators forward on their journey of growth. By regularly engaging in reflection, teachers gain a deeper understanding of their teaching practices, strengths, and areas requiring enhancement. This heightened self-awareness forms the foundation upon which professional development initiatives are built. Through self-reflection, educators identify specific areas for growth and development. These might include improving classroom management techniques, refining curriculum planning, enhancing communication with students and parents, or embracing new teaching methodologies. The reflective process helps teachers pinpoint these areas with precision, providing a roadmap for delete, 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 providing a roadmap for targeted professional development efforts. Reflection also aids in the establishment of meaningful professional goals. Educators can align their reflective insights with their career aspirations, crafting goals that are relevant and impactful. Whether it's acquiring new certifications, attending workshops, or seeking mentorship, the reflective process guides teachers towards professional development opportunities that directly address their identified areas for improvement. The reflective process extends professional development beyond formal training. It allows teachers to learn from their daily experiences in the classroom, transforming everyday challenges into opportunities for growth. As educators adapt their teaching strategies based on reflective insights, they accumulate a wealth of practical knowledge that enriches their professional expertise. Perhaps more importantly, the reflective process instills a growth mindset in educators. It fosters a culture of lifelong learning and adaptability, which are essential attributes for staying relevant in the ever-evolving field of early childhood education. Professional development in this context becomes an ongoing journey rather than a destination, with reflection serving as a compass guiding educators through their careers. Two exceptional early childhood education teachers, Ellen and Olivia, worked tirelessly in their toddler classroom. Their dedication went beyond the ordinary, 
and they shared a remarkable bond that transformed their classroom into a haven of love, laughter, and invaluable learning experiences. Ellen and Olivia were known for their unwavering commitment to reflective practice and continuous improvement. They firmly believed that nurturing young minds was not merely about following a curriculum. It was about weaving self-reflection and professional development into every aspect of their classroom management. Each Friday during the toddler's nap time, Ellen and Olivia took their seats and in the cozy delete, 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 delete. Every Friday during the toddler's nap time, Ellen and Olivia took their seats in the cozy corner. It was their designated time to reflect on the week's events using the classroom reflection form that they accessed through implementation and consistency course in the Teacher's Lounge portal. This form allowed them to systematically assess and discuss their unique perspectives on how the week had unfolded. Olivia, began Ellen one Sunday morning, let's dive into our classroom reflection form. Delete, 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 delete. Olivia, began Ellen, let's dive into the classroom reflection form. What aspects of our classroom management have excelled and where can we make improvements? Olivia nodded, her eyes bright with enthusiasm. Well, Ellen, according to our form, morning routine seems to have improved. Our sing-alongs are a hit, and transitioning between activities is becoming less chaotic. Ellen's smile radiated warmth and appreciation. Absolutely, Olivia. I've noticed how our consistent use of visual cues, like the cleanup song, have made transitions smoother and more predictable. Ellen and Olivia de delved into their delete, delete, delete. Ellen and Olivia delved into their reflections, identifying areas that could benefit from fine-tuning. Olivia expressed concern about a few children's struggles with sharing, while Ellen mentioned that she could delete, 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 while Ellen mentioned that they could enhance the documentation of individual learning milestones. Determined to make positive changes, the two teachers revived a thoughtful action plan. They decided to introduce more structured sharing activities, just such as story sharing circles, to help children understand the concept better. For documentation, they would create individual learning journals to track each child's progress more comprehensively. Over the subsequent weeks, Ellen and Olivia followed faithfully. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> delete. Over the subsequent weeks, Ellen and Olivia faithfully followed their action plan. They encouraged sharing during group time, providing gentle guidance when conflict arose. The children embraced the new routine, growing more confident in their social interactions. The individual learning journals became a treasure trove of insights. Ellen and Olivia meticulously recorded each child's milestones, their artistic creations, and moments of growth. Parents were delighted to witness their toddler's progress, and the journals forged a stronger homeschool connection. As the months passed, the positive impact of Ellen and Olivia's reflective approach became increasingly evident. The toddlers blossomed into confident, cooperative, and curious learners. They thrived in predictable routines and flourished within the enriched learning environment. During one of the parent-teacher conferences, a father named Mr. Harris approached Ellen and Olivia. His eyes glistened with gratitude as he said, you two have truly made a profound difference in our daughter's life. She not a delete, 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 delete. She's not only learning, but also growing as an individual. Thank you for your unwavering dedication. Ellen and Olivia exchanged a proud, knowing glance realizing that their commitment to self-reflection and continuous improvement had created an environment where every child could shine. Ellen and Olivia's toddler classroom stood as a testament to the transformative power of reflective practice and professional development. Their journey served as a reminder that in the realm of ECE teaching, nurturing young minds and unlocking their potential was an incredibly rewarding voyage. Filled with shared smiles, 
warm hugs, and boundless discoveries. Implementing a structured reflect delete, 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 delete. Implementing a structured reflection process, such as using the classroom reflection form and regular meetings in a classroom management plan, offers us several benefits. First, improve teaching effectiveness. Regular reflection allows teachers to critically assess their teaching methods and classroom management strategies. By identifying what's working and what needs adjustments, educators can refine their approaches, leading to more effective teaching and learning experiences for their students. Next, enhanced student engagement. This process helps teachers understand their students' needs and preferences better. As a result, they can tailor their classroom management techniques to create a more engaging and student-centered environment, fostering active participation and enthusiasm among learners. Increase teacher st- self-awareness. Reflective practice encourages educators to examine their own strengths and weaknesses objectively. This self-awareness enables teachers to cat- delete, 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 delete. This self-awareness enables teachers to capitalize on their strengths and proactively address areas that require improvement, contributing to their professional growth. Better classroom organization. Through reflection, teachers can refine classroom routines and organization. This leads to smoother transitions between activities, reduced disruptions, and a more structured learning environment, ultimately benefiting both students and teachers. Enhanced communication. Regular meetings to discuss the reflection form findings encourage open communication between colleagues. Sharing insights and experiences can lead to collaboration and the exchange of valuable ideas, ultimately improving classroom management practices. Effective problem solving. When challenges or issues arise in the classroom, a reflective approach helps teachers analyze the root causes and develop targeted solutions. This problem-solving capability is vital for maintaining a positive and productive learning environment. Personalized student support. By documenting individual learning milestones and behavior patterns, teachers can provide tailored support to meet each child's unique needs ensuring that no student is left behind in their development. Strengthened homeschool connection. The use of learning, delete, 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 delete. Professional development. The reflection and feedback process is an integral part of an educator's professional development. It fosters a growth mindset, encourages lifelong learning, and motivates teachers to seek continuous improvement through training and workshops. Positive impact on students. Ultimately, the benefits of implementing reflection and feedback into classroom management contributes to a positive and enriching learning experience for students. When teachers are continuously striving to improve their practice, it directly benefits the children they serve, creating a nurturing and effective educational environment. Incorporating structured reflection, feedback, and meetings into a classroom management plan empowers educators to become more effective, adaptable, and responsive to the needs of their students. It fosters a culture of continuous improvement, ultimately leading to a more positive and enriching educational experience for both teachers and their young learners. To effectively incorporate structured reflection and feedback into early childhood education classrooms, delete, delete, delete. To effectively incorporate structured reflection and feedback into early childhood education classroom management, follow these initial steps. Learn reflective practice, delete, delete, delete. Learn reflective practices. Understand the basics of reflecting and teaching including self-reflection, goal setting, and continuous improvement. Gather resources. Explore relevant literature, courses, and articles on reflective teaching and classroom management. Use a reflection form. Create a simple form to record observation, successes, challenges, and areas for improvement after each teaching session. Set meeting times. 
Schedule regular meetings with a colleague or mentor to discuss your reflections, either weekly or biweekly. Share your intentions. Inform colleagues and educate. Delete, delete, delete. Share your intentions. Inform colleagues and administrators about your plan to implement reflective practices in your classroom management and seek their support. Start small. Focus on one aspect of classroom management for improvement, like transitions or student engagement. Implement gradual changes. Make systematic adjustments based on your reflections and discussions. Avoid overwhelming changes at once. Evaluate and adjust. Regularly assess the impact of your changes on your classroom management and adjust strategies as necessary. Reflect on your growth. Reflect, delete, 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 delete. Reflect on your growth. Reflect on your own personal growth. Delete, 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 delete. Reflect on your growth. Reflect. Delete, 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 <clears throat> delete. Reflect on your growth. Reflect on your own professional growth as you engage in these processes. Observing how your teaching practices and classroom management strategies evolve and improve over time. By following these initial action steps, ECE teachers can lay a solid foundation for integrating reflection into their classroom management plans. Over time, these practices will become a natural part of your teaching routine, contributing to ongoing improvement and enriched learning experiences for young learners. Thank you for joining us today on this enlightening journey through the world of reflective practice in early childhood education. We've explored the profound impact of structured reflection and feedback processes on classroom management and, ultimately, on the quality of education for our young learners. Remember, the path to becoming a more effective and nurturing educator begins with self-reflection and a commitment to continuous improvement. We encourage you to take the first step by accessing the Classroom Reflection Form in our Teacher's Lounge on-demand portal. This valuable resource will help you get started on your own reflective journey. As you embrace these practices, you'll find that they not only enhance your teaching effectiveness, but also create a more engaging and enriching learning environment for your students. Your dedication to self-improvement will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on the children you serve. Thank you for being a part of our ECE community. We look forward to sharing more insights and strategies with you in future episodes. Until then, keep reflecting, keep growing, and keep inspiring the young minds in your care. And that brings us to the end of this episode of The Teacher's Lounge. We're so grateful for your time and hope you found our discussion helpful and inspiring. Remember, you are doing an amazing job in the field of early education, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Until next time, take care, and we'll be back soon with more resources, insights, and inspirations to help you succeed. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on all our social medias to stay up to date on the latest happenings inside the lounge. Keep up the great work. We're cheering you on.